This is a big year for NASA's MAVEN orbiter. What it could learn could someday help future astronauts safely land on Mars and provide us with a new view of the sun. This is Mission Control at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. This is where all of the data from MAVEN comes through. 10 years ago, we sent MAVEN to Mars to measure space weather and how it interacts with the upper atmosphere. This includes solar flares, which are giant explosions on the sun, which send radiation into space. Every 11 years, the sun goes through cycles of activity. This year, we've seen more space weather than we ever have during the entire mission. And while solar flares can occur at any time, they occur more frequently and more intensely at the peak of the cycle called solar maximum. Right now, we're almost at that peak, and I'm really excited about what solar flares can teach us about the red planet. MAVEN is one of two missions studying radiation at Mars. The orbiter is able to observe many phenomena from the sun, including radiation, high energy particles, and magnetic fields. MAVEN can also see stunning auroras from its vantage point high above the planet, which future astronauts might be able to see someday. Meanwhile, down on the surface of Mars, the Curiosity rover has a radiation detector called RAD. It studies high energy particles that get all the way through the atmosphere and down to the surface. Together, MAVEN and Curiosity give us a better understanding of the radiation environment at Mars. Studying how intense solar flares can get during solar maximum can help NASA develop protection for future astronauts, robots, and spacecraft. There's another advantage to studying the sun from Mars. Here on Earth, we can only see one side of the sun, but when MAVEN is on the other side, it can spot activity coming days before we can. On a personal note, MAVEN is my spacecraft baby, and I am so excited about observing the next few years of solar flares, space weather, and the atmosphere of Mars.